Today we're going to be going over HelloFresh's meal kit delivery service. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that this is not a sponsored video. Everything is 100% my own opinion. And with that being said, let's get started with the video. So if you're not familiar with HelloFresh, they are a meal kit delivery service similar to Blue Apron, uh, Sun Basket, Home Chef. There's a lot of different companies offering a similar service and all of them deliver pre-portioned, pre-packaged ingredients and recipe cards so that you're still able to cook at home, but you have some of that legwork with grocery shopping and meal planning already taken care of for you. My first box of HelloFresh in the mail. We're gonna check it out this week and see if it is worth it. So it comes with these little recipe cards, which have a really nice photo of the meals I picked out, as well as the ingredients and all the instructions for making it. And it comes in a cold storage box, so everything is covered in foil. And there's ice packs at the bottom, which helps keep everything cold in storage. Everything comes in this brown paper bag. And yeah, these are the big ice packs. Underneath them we have our meats, which are still quite cold. Luckily my building has cold storage, so this was able to sit in there for a couple hours before I was able to go get the package. I won't be eating any of this tonight because I'm meeting up with a couple friends for dinner. I actually have someone visiting and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get around to cooking for the rest of the weekend, but hopefully all of this will last. It should for a couple days, but we'll see. So I guess I will see you again when it's time to get cooking. We are going to get cooking on our first meal, which is Yukatan citrus turkey bowls. Did I say that wrong? So this is going to be a turkey bowl over rice with some poblano peppers, smoky red pepper crema, and pickled onion. Just a little hack. I learned this when I was in Thailand. If you want to get the most juice out of a lime, you're supposed to cut off the ends and then you take that center piece and cut it in half. And all four of these pieces have way more juice in them than if you try and cut them into wedges. So for my week, I ordered three different meals, each with two portions, and I would say the Thai coconut meatballs were probably my favorite. I'd rank them like a nine or a 10. Next was the chickpea bowls. These would probably be like a solid eight. And then finally, the citrus turkey bowls, which I thought were really good, but I would rank them maybe around like a seven. Most of these bowls were actually in like the six to 800 calorie range for a meal which is fine. Um, I tend to not eat breakfast, so I think that would work for me. But if you're someone who's eating three square meals a day, then <laughs> these meatballs are 900 calories each, which means that you're eating close to 3000 calories if you're portioning out your meals this way. 
So I think if you're someone who is more in my demographic, you probably would be making meals with leftovers. If you are a taller, more active male, this is probably a very good meal size for you. Let's start with the pros. So first of all, it is very convenient. If you don't have easy access to a grocery store or you're really busy, it is really nice to get all of your groceries delivered to you and everything is pre-portioned and pre-packaged so that you don't have to worry about meal planning or trying not to waste food. And so that part of it is really nice, of course. The second thing that is really awesome about this is that if you don't know how to cook very well, the instructions do explain everything to you really well. And they come with pictures as well. So I think that's really great for someone who's just learning to cook and you're not really sure how much to buy or not really sure basic cooking techniques, then this could be a really good fit for you. But the third pro I would say is that it is very flexible. They have different meal plans for different dietary needs. They don't have everything necessarily, but there is a lot to choose from. You do get new meals each week. And at least from my experience, I do find that canceling or pausing your boxes is very easy. I canceled my week without any hiccups, was not charged afterwards. And I think nowadays with a lot of subscription services, that's kind of rare. So I really did appreciate the ability to do that. Now for the cons. I will say that it is quite pricey. Paying between eight and $11 for a meal that you cook yourself is a lot. And again, you are paying for the convenience, you're paying for the prepackaging, but I could go out and get a salad for 10 bucks and not even have to cook it myself. So if you're someone who is struggling to save money or you really are in a time crunch, I don't think this would necessarily fit you very well. Although you do save on food waste, you are making up for that in packaging waste. Because as you could see when I was cooking earlier, there is a lot of plastic and every single product or almost every single product is packaged separately. And I think they probably could do a better job with this because there are grocery delivery services that deliver all of your produce loose in the box. And I think they probably could do something more along those lines to cut down on packaging. Another thing is that these products can spoil in shipment. I didn't have any experiences with that. Everything did come fairly fresh, but I've heard from other people in other reviews that they've received herbs and produce that were wilted or had even gone bad by the time it got to them. Next, another con, and this was a huge one for me, is that most of their meals are pretty carb heavy. And as someone who eats paleo-ish, I personally prefer to focus on greens and healthy proteins in my meals. And I try to cut down on the processed carbs, like the pastas, the breads, the rice, as much as I can. But most of the meals are based in at least one of those things. So if you're someone who is more on like the keto or the paleo spectrum, then it might be difficult for you to select meals that fit with your dietary needs. Another con, and this is a small one, I don't think most people run into this, but if you're someone who doesn't have a fully stocked kitchen, so you don't have every kind of oil or sugars or strainers and just random appliances around your kitchen that a normal larger house might have, these recipes do call for you to add in some of your own items. So for example, when I was making the citrus turkey bowls, it calls for using your own salt, black pepper, sugar, cooking oil, and butter. And for me at the time, I didn't have pepper and I didn't have butter because I had just moved in. And it also calls for a zester, which I don't really use that often. So just something to consider. If you don't really have a fully fleshed out kitchen, you might have to check to see what products they're expecting you to have at your home already. And finally, the last con, this again is something that is gonna come down to personal preference, but I personally found a lot of the recipes to be a little bit repetitive. They use a lot of the same cooking techniques, same ingredients, um, they're all very very new American, lightly fusion based. So if you're someone who prefers getting a little more creative in the kitchen or using more ethnic ingredients, this isn't going to be a very good meal service for you. And that's probably the biggest reason why I chose not to extend my subscription because I knew that if I were eating turkey rice bowls every day, I would probably get bored of it eventually. I think it just doesn't really fit my flavor profile that well. And again, this is not going to be something that everyone experiences. I do have a little bit of a wider palate and more experience in the kitchen. So that means that the meals I make are going to be a little bit more of an edge case scenario. So it's just something else to think about if you're someone who tends to get bored easily with your meals. 
Overall, I would say that HelloFresh is best suited for someone who has a moderate food budget, does not have access to inexpensive groceries, or is time strapped but still wants the ability to be able to cook at home when they can. It's also really well suited for someone who is just learning to cook and temporarily needs a little bit of assistance in getting started. Now who's it not for? If you're someone on a tight budget, I think you'll be better suited going to the grocery store and making meals yourself. You'll save a lot of money that way. If you have access to good grocery stores, if you're in the suburbs, if you have a car, and you have time to go grocery shopping every week or two, I don't think that this is necessarily going to be a value. And if you're somebody who has specific dietary needs that are not necessarily met by Hello, fresh which would include vegan uh, paleo keto or gluten-free then you're probably not going to find a lot of meals that fit your dietary preferences and lastly if you are someone who has quite a high food budget or you're of a higher income but you're just looking to save time I think you probably would be better off just buying salads or Chipotle or going out to eat when you can. It's gonna save you more time and probably not cost that much more than it would to get HelloFresh or a service similar to it. Because remember, even if you are saving time with grocery shopping and meal prepping, you still have to make the food. And most of the meals take between half an hour and an hour, which is a lot of time out of your day. Anyway, if you have tried them before or you've tried other meal kit delivery services, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave them down below in the comments and we can have a discussion. And and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I will see you next week.